Discouragement is one of the arch enemies of single people everywhere for one simple reason. You don't have anyone to bring perspective, but I do. And so this video, I want to share with you four secrets to overcome discouragement in dating. Hi, I'm Jackie Sabrin. For those of you who don't know me, I'm an executive love coach and CEO of a company called Engaged in Any Age. And we help women deliberately date and consciously create the man of their dreams. I met and married my own soulmate match husband, Michael, after being single for eight years, and I'm still on the honeymoon and passionate about helping you get engaged at any age. So let's jump right into the first secret to help you overcome discouragement in dating. And the first one is validation. Validation, what does that really mean, Jackie? Well, validation is so important, especially when you're on this journey to find your soulmate, because it's easy to become discouraged and disappointed in this process. But when we validate, give value to your feelings, they it's easier to release this feelings and energy of discouragement and get back into balance. So when you give value to how you're feeling, what you do is you, you don't allow your mind to repress, minimize, or deny all these feelings that you have. It's normal, natural and necessary for you to feel and release any emotions that you have so that you can get back into balance because remember whatever you ever you think about expands and so if you're this energy of discouragement if you're stuck in that really is a negative heavy energy and so the faster you move out of that place this energetic place the better and the fastest way you can do it this first secret is by validation giving value to your feelings it is normal that you're feeling discouragement anybody's going through what you're going through we feel like exactly the same way. So it's really showing up as your own best friend when you're feeling this discouragement and then honoring that that part of you that is feeling discouraged and then releasing the the emotion behind it so you can get back into balance and get back out there. So the second secret I want to share with you is I want you to hold your vision. And so what do I mean by that? Hold your vision. I know that you have a vision, right? Your soulmate vision of what you want. And it's so important for you to reconnect to what you want in your soulmate vision because what you want and even more importantly perhaps is why you want it really helps keep you connected to your journey when things get challenging. You really need to know why you want what you want. Why do you want to be married? Why do you want to be in a committed relationship? You really need to check in with that because this will carry you over the difficult times, the challenges, and this energy of discouragement much easier when you keep reconnecting to your vision, right, of what you want and why you want it. That's so important, and it's going to be intimate to you and unique as you are. So make sure that you write out your what and your why, and that'll be your soulmate vision. It's really going to really help you to stay the course when things get challenging and you get into that negative energy of discouragement. So just let me, let me ask you to do me a little favor really quick. But I'd love it if you would like, share, and comment on my page. If you are loving the content that I produce for you, will you please share it with your friends and make a comment for me if you'd like me to create a video for you if you're facing a challenge. I would love to do that. So your comments really are important to me. And thank you to those of you who make comments on my page. I really appreciate it. All right, let's go into the third secret that will help you move through the energy of discouragement. And that's a plan. You need to have a plan. You know, you really need to be honest with yourself. Are you doing everything you possibly can to make your dreams come true? And so it's so easy to get discouraged with dating or maybe a relationship that didn't work out and you find yourself single again. But you need to have a plan. And and you need to have a plan of, of where you're going to meet men in real life if you're not online dating. You need to have a plan about online dating. You need to have a good strategy. And you need to see through the the trials and errors that you go through what's working and what isn't and you need to constantly revise this until you until you start to connect and you start to get some flow in your dating life so you need to have a, a plan so that you can execute it and come up with a really good strategy for you and I know if you're watching all my videos you're able to do that because I cover all of this in so many of my videos and so the um, the last secret that I want to share with you to overcome this, the uh, challenge of discouragement in dating is to count your blessings. I know this sounds like a 
like a, um, you know, you probably hear that a lot, right? Count your blessings. But I can't tell you how wonderful it is and how good it feels, right? Because feeling good is the goal. When you feel good, you can create anything in your life. When you don't feel good, that's when you stop everything from coming to you. And the fastest way to get in alignment and feel good is to count your blessings. Start to list off the 90% of your life that is working or 80% of your life is working and the people in your life you have to feel grateful for your job, your house, your car, your clothes. We're so blessed in this country to to live in a place where we have so many opportunities at every turn. And the only reason we, we stop ourselves from taking those, those opportunities and, and running with it is our fears and this energy of discouragement. So really make a list of all the things you're grateful for and I promise you very soon you're going to realize how, what a wonderful life you have. And that from that place, that place, that's where you want to attract a man, from that place of energy rich. You have an energy rich vibration and it's so much easier to manifest what you want in a much faster way uh, if you are in this positivity and this in this energy rich place in your life so ladies I want to share with you something um, that I know is going to help you it's my soulmate assessment so all you have to do is go to soulmateiq.com and take a quick quiz and my quiz is designed to help you to discover what frequency you're vibrating at and how fast you are how close you are to attracting your soulmate and it will help you fast track your ability to manifest your soulmate because I'm going to give you the frequency you're vibrating at and a an assessment as well as a feminine exercise is going to help you shift further into alignment because information is power, knowledge is power, but taking action on that knowledge is going to create empowerment. So taking my uh, soulmate assessment at soulmateiq.com is going to help you to take action so that you can feel better faster, get further into alignment, and fast track your ability to attract your soulmate. So I hope this was helpful and just know I'm sending you all so much love today.